gone through the different types of cost so in today's lectures again uh, a bit related with the unit number 1 it is nothing but the public private partnership okay so triple p concept uh, in today's lecture we will deal with the uh, triple p conce concept that is the public private partnership okay so it is an important concept uh, in which uh, some of the uh, infrastructure projects it deals with the both uh, the uh, relation between the public sectors and the relation between the private sector okay so what uh, what this uh, term relates with the public private partnership so we will see in today's lectures the different terms related with the triple p we will see the characteristics of triple p uh, objectives of triple p and also where it is it is beneficial for uh, it is having the uh, public private partnerships okay first of all what is the concept of triple p so triple p is as the names uh, it has been given as public private partnerships okay so public is the uh, public sectors that means uh, uh, we as a, a, we are using the different things uh, which has been constructed by some other form so being a public sectors so we are the users okay so public is nothing but the user sectors okay private is the nothing but the the one who constructs the uh, road or the construct the building or construct of uh, construction of any structures it has been done by the private sectors public sectors is nothing but it has been used by the public sectors public uh, by uh, through the means uh, through the transportations bolo jaisa bhi hota hai so use kon karega public karega but investment and construction work will be done by the private sectors so what is the relationship between a uh, public sectors and a uh, private sectors so that means an arrangement between a government owned entities on one side and a private sectors entity on the other side that means uh, it has been finally owned by the government finally the owner is nothing but the government but it has been constructed by the private sectors it has been uh, constructed by the private contractors it has been uh, constructed uh, by the pri private uh, that is the uh, uh, firms private firms private in industrial firms and it has been uh, the amount it has been incurred through the publics the amount which has been invested by the private sectors it has been uh, in step by steps or uh, in uh, for 10 years for uh, for 5 years and for 6 uh, and 10 uh, years it has been uh, taken from the public so this is nothing but the relationship between the public and private partnerships okay so what the first point says a uh, public private partnership means an arrangement between a government owned entity what what this terms relate with government owned entity that means it is finally owned by the government okay it has been finally after the uh, span it has been over after 10 years or after 15 years or after 20 years it has been handed over to the government okay so finally it has been owned by the government and it has been constructed by the private and it has been used by the public okay constructed by the private sectors and be uh, and it has been used by the common man okay by the public okay so it is often done by the provision of the public assets or the public services this uh, will uh, construction of various public services Uh, per, uh, public related needs will be constructed pipelines uh, there may be a drainage lines also there uh, there may be a, a water supply lines also there uh, there may be various highways and roads construction of roads may be there there may be a parks may be there and uh, by collection of uh, uh, tickets we can uh, recover the amount which has been invested by the private sectors okay so different parks or different uh, that is the uh, it has been constructed by the public uh, private sectors So it is often done by the provision of the public assets or the public services through investments being made and earned or management being undertaken by the private sector entity for a specified period of time. This word is uh, very important for a specific period of time. Okay, so it has been uh, taken care by the uh, that is the private sectors for a specific period of time. Okay, uh, let us consider for 10 years, for 15 years, for 20 years. after that it will be handed over to the government after that it will be transferred to the government okay so for a specific period of time uh, there is well defined allocations of risk between the private sectors and the public entities yes there will be uh, some risk uh, which will be taken by the private sectors if there is a maintenance part is there any risk uh, it has been taken care during the construction or during the executions or while uh, we are using uh, be, uh, so all the risk will be allocations or it will be uh, undertaken by the private sectors okay it will be undertaken by the private sectors next is nothing but the characteristics of the triple p what is characteristics of public private uh, partnerships what are the different characteristics 
करेक्ट इज इन दिंग्स विच थिंग्स विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन दिस ट्रिपल पी कंसेप्ट ठीक है तो द प्राइवेट सेक्टर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर कैरिंग आउट और operating the projects and takes on a substantial portion of the associated uh, project risk the uh, some part of the risk will be taken by the uh, private sectors whole risk will not be taken and it will be uh, all the operational cost all the maintenance cost all the constru construction of that uh, particular structures or construction of the particular road will be taken care by the private sectors okay the private sector kya karega uh, all the construction work karega uh, carried out of the operational project and takes and, uh, on a substantial portion of the associated project risk it will take a some substantial in the sense some part it will not take the whole part uh, whole risk will not be taken but some risk will be taken by the uh, private sectors those who are uh, constructing the particular structure okay so during the operational life of the project uh, the public sectors route into the monitor the performance of the private sectors private partners and enforce the terms of the contract okay uh, if there is any uh, things which has been not obeyed uh, uh, regarding the construction work regarding the norms regarding the clauses so all these uh, will be taken care by the public sectors okay uh, public will intimate uh, after a span of time uh, they, uh, they are free to intimate uh, regarding the uh, if there is any clause which has not been mentioned uh, which has been not uh, fulfilled or if there is uh, there is anything which has not been taken care so all this will be uh, overcome by the uh, public sectors okay so public sectors route into to monitor the performance of the private partners and enforce the terms of contract here yeah. enforce the terms of contracts okay again last point is nothing but the characteristics of triple b Uh, the private sectors uh, cost may be recover in whole or in part yes this thing is very very important it will be uh, recovered in a whole or in parts for some use it, it will be covered in parts or it will be covered in the uh, whole okay the private sector cost may be recovered in whole or in part from charges related to the use of the services provided by the project as uh, the we are using the services we will pay some amount while using the services we will pay some uh, public sectors or the public will pay some amount uh, so this uh, amount will be taken uh, it will be taken by the private sectors okay the private sector cost may be recovered in a whole or in part from charges related to the use of the services provided by the project and may be recovered through the payments from public sectors yes so different payments will be there different charges will be uh, allocated uh, it has been taken care by the public sectors through the different charges or different payments it will be recovered the amount will be recovered by the private sectors again there are two points related with the characteristics of triple p so what are the different uh, two points last two points related with the characteristics of triple p Uh, the private sector is, is responsible for carrying out or op operating the project and takes on a substantial portion of the public sector's payments are based on the performance standard set out in the contract yes the payments will be given as per the contracts as per the agreements as per the dealings between the public and the private sectors okay so as per the dealings as per the agreements as per the contract the payments will be given okay there so there will be some norms will be followed there will be uh, some agreements will be taken care Uh, in the form of tenders, in the form of contract. So depending upon this, it will, the amount will be recovered. The payments will be recovered. Okay. Now, what I am saying is, the public sectors payments are based on the performance standards set out in the contract. There are some standards which has been set out. So we have to follow the standards. So by following these standards, it will be uh, the amount will be recovered. The amount will be recovered by following the standards. Okay. Some fixed st standards will be. Uh, it has been. Uh, Uh, taken care in the contracts okay it will be written in the contracts so depending upon that standards will, uh, the amount will be recovered often the private sectors will uh, contribute the majority of the project capital's cost although this is not always the case okay that means often the private sectors will contribute the majority of the project capital cost means the maximum cost will be bared by the private sectors majority of the project cost that means the maximum amount will be bared by the private sectors constructional amount will be bared by the uh, private sectors okay the majority of the project capital cost although this is not always the case in some cases uh, the majority of the uh, amount will be taken by the uh, uh, that is the private sectors or some or some percentage there some percentage or some construction work the amount uh, up to a some limit the amount will be taken care by the private sectors the amount required for the construction of project okay so uh, this is in some cases majority will be taken and in some cases some percentage or some amount will be taken care by the 
uh, private sectors uh, are, during the construction of project. Okay. So is that clear? Uh, what is triple P concept? Yes. Yes, everyone. What is triple P concept? Is it clear? Yes, sir. Yes. So yeah. this is a common uh, that is term uh, which has been used nowadays uh, because the amount which has been invested by the private companies and you know, various there are the there are the various uh, private companies are there. Uh, suppose L and T may be there or uh, different uh, that is the international companies may be they are investing their amount in the construction of any project and they will recover that amount from the public sectors. Okay, the public just as a use karege. Uh, the, by the different means, they will collect the amount. They can the amount required for construction. Okay? So after uh, they, but in steps, they will collect the amount in steps. They will recover the amount in steps or uh, in parts. So uh, they will require some uh, years. Okay? So after five years, ten years, or fifteen years, uh, this amount will be recovered. So after that, that project will be transferred to the government. Okay? The, the government entity will be uh, will uh, take a, uh, after the, um, uh, the, uh, the amount uh, that is the years it has been spent. Uh, the whole uh, project will be taken care by the uh, government sectors. It will be transferred to the government ent entity. Okay? Next is nothing but again some bits are related with triple triple P is nothing but. Advantages of triple P. Why it is to be uh, carried out, uh, or what are the advantages for this triple P? Uh, why it is beneficial uh, to have a partnership between the public and private sectors? What are the advantages for this? Okay. So every uh, every term it is having some advantages. So this uh, partnership uh, between the public and private sectors also will have some advantages. Okay. What is the number one advantage for this? Uh, access to private sector finance. Uh, there will be some uh, means or access to the private sectors. Okay. The private sectors uh, assess right of my method they will private sectors and they are free to invest the amount okay? they are free to invest the uh, finance uh, will be taken care by the private sectors okay the access to private se sector finance uh, efficiency advantages from using private sector skills and from transferring risk to the private sectors so there are two terms in this second point first is the uh, advantages from the Private sector skills. There are the different skills are there, different technologies, or different advanced equipments may be there with the with the uh, with uh, with the private sectors. Okay, so they can use their skills. They they can use their advanced equipments. They can use their uh, advanced techniques or technologies related with the construction of it, uh, construction of uh, project. Okay. So private sector skills and from transferring risk to the private sector. That means uh, if they are constructing the project, that means they are uh, they are willing to take the risk. Okay? The risk will be taken care by the private sectors. Okay? So transferring risk to the private sectors. So it's like that different um, uh, the skills which has been uh, with the private sectors, they um, they are in front uh, with the uh, they will be used for the construction of any project. Uh, the different technologies or different talents or different skills which has been uh, with the private sectors will be used for the uh, uh, public beneficiaries will be used for the public sector uh, public projects you know, public uh, beneficiary uh, projects okay so private sector skills and from transferring risk to the private sectors number three point is nothing but the you know, potentially increased Transparency. That may there may be a transparency uh, while working. Uh, every amount or every construction work at every stage of the construction work, there should be a transparency. Okay. So here, if we are dealing with the different private sectors, the so transparency will be clear. Uh, the, the amount, uh, the outgoings and incomings of the amount or the various uh, dealings will be in a transparency. Okay. So here, uh, there will be a more uh, precise way. There will be more transparent uh, dealings will be there between a public and a private sector. Okay. So potentially increased transparency, uh, enlarge, enlargement of focus from only creating an asset to uh, delivery of a service, including maintenance of the infrastructure, assets during its operational lifetime. Yes. Uh, while construct while constructing a building by the private sectors, so here maintenance will also be taken care. Maintenance of the infrastructure assets uh, because every construction project after five years or after ten years, so it requires some maintenance. Uh, suppose there is construction of road or construction of any building, so it will uh, it requires after uh, the lifespan as the lifespan goes, so there will be some maintenance. So this maintenance cost will be bared by the private sector. So this is an adva advantage. 
uh, that uh, the uh, project after using uh, if we are public is using that uh, particular uh, that is the construction work there may be uh, maintenance okay so this maintenance amount will be bared by the uh, uh, that is the private sector okay so here again the fourth uh, uh, advantage of triple p Fifth is nothing but this broadened focus cre uh, creates in incentives to reduce incentives to reduce yes. reduce the uh, full life cycle cost, construction cost, and operational cost. Again, okay. that means uh, the construction cost or operation operational cost or maintenance cost through the full life cycle cost. Will be reduced. So by um, uh, by means of this triple P concept, uh, this uh, will focus in will reduce the full life cycle cost. That means the quality will be maintained, the construction cost uh, will, uh, required, or the operational cost or the maintenance cost will be bared by the uh, private sectors. Next is essentials of site layout planning. What are the different essentials required for laying down the site plan? ठीक है ना साइट का अगर मतलब कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क अगर करना है कोई भी साइट पे तो वॉर आर द असेंशियल्स ऑफ साइट लेआउट प्लानिंग ठीक है तो साइट अगर लेआउट हो रहा है साइट में अगर कोई कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क हो रहा है तो डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दिस कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क वॉर आर द डिफरेंट थिंग्स रिलेटेड विद द कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ अ प्रोजेक्ट ठीक है देर इज अगर कोई चीज कंस्ट्रक्ट हो रही है तो ऐसा नहीं है कि सिर्फ uh, मतलब बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्ट हो रही है तो नियर बाय स्पेसेस में Uh, nearby uh, that is the premises may what are the different things which has to be uh, within our limits so that the construction work will be completed in the uh, stipulated time in, in the prescribed time okay so kya kya essentials rakhte uh, being a, uh, while constructing a building what are the different essentials required number one is the nothing but the site layout or job layout is a scaled drawing of the proposed construction site showing all the relevant features such as entry and exit अब क्या होता है कि साइट लेआउट जो प्लान बन रहा है तो इट विल हैव द डिफरेंट थिंग्स विच थिंग्स विल बी इंक्लूडेड इन दिस साइट लेआउट और जॉब लेआउट तो जॉब लेआउट में या फिर साइट लेआउट में ये जो टर्म था साइट लेआउट में तो साइट लेआउट में विच टर्म्स और विच थिंग्स आर इंक्लूडेड इन दैट ड्राइंग ठीक है सबसे पहली चीज नंबर वन इज नथिंग बट द एंट्री एंड एक्सिट ठीक है सबसे पहला क्या रहेगा उसमें एंट्री एंड एक्सिट पॉइंट फ्रॉम वेयर वी विल इंटर एंड वेयर वी विल एक्सिट ठीक है जो मटेरियल्स आएगा वहीकल्स आएगी या फिर द एंट्री एंड एग्जिट ऑफ द साइट बिकॉज इन मल्टी स्टोरीड बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ मल्टी स्टोरी बिल्डिंग स्ट्रक्चर जो इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर प्रोजेक्ट्स में रहते हैं तो द कंस्ट्रक्शन इट हैज बीन कैरीड आउट इन एकर्स ठीक है ना बहुत बड़ा कंस्ट्रक्शन होता है एकर्स की लैंड रहती है तो देर विल बी स्पेसिफिक एंट्री विल बी देयर एंड स्पेसिफिक एग्जिट विल बी देयर एंट्री एंड एग्जिट पॉइंट विल बी देयर टू द साइट ठीक है अब नेक्स्ट इज नथिंग बट द स्टोरेज एरियाज ऑफ द मटेरियल यस next is nothing but the storage area so special uh, area will be uh, that has been fixed for the uh, storage of the materials okay so, materials ko store karna hai to storage areas will be required okay. so storage areas of the material site engineers office will be there uh, where we will sit and we will uh, we will have the testing work is there or uh, various uh, things related uh, drawings bhi rahega wahan pe hai na site engineers ka uh, different accounts work bhi rahega to site engineers office Areas for keeping equipment. Again, the special uh, special areas will be required for keeping the various equipment. Bar bending areas will be there. Bar bending, so uh, we will study in uh, estimating cost in bar bending schedule. जो रहता है, तो bar bending area that means steel काम पे dump होगा, ठीक है ना? Steel काम पे रखेंगे, तो वो area और वहाँ से फिर rings बनाना है या फिर जो different uh, types of uh, there is the uh, reinforcement uh, which has been required in columns, beams or slab. So all this will be uh, it has been taken care in the separate area okay na so bar bending area will be there washing facilities will be there labor housing will be there labor camps will be there labor housing area will be there because uh, out uh, 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 outside the city uh, city labors will be also be there so there a, sub, a separate tent will be provided separate space will be provided for the uh, labor housing uh, separate space will be there and the toilets will be there and the washing facilities will be also provided related with the labor camps labor houses proper job layout improves communications by avoiding unnecessary movements thus increasing efficiency all these things why we are studying this all these things there should be a special entry will be there exit will be there storage of materials will be there offices will be bar bending ye sab kyun karna hai because we have to uh, uh, 
for a proper improvement or proper, proper communications in order to avoid unnecessary movements okay so unnecessary movements in order to uh, avoid the wastage of time okay wastage of time if uh, we are fixing a place where bar bending is there so everyone will be familiar with that place uh, if we are if every, every uh, if anyone wants a steel for the construction of slab or uh, they wants a steel for the reduction of columns or beams so if kaisa hoga ki special place will be there so everyone will uh, familiar with the, uh, that place and they will collect the bars from the particular uh, area okay aisa every uh, storage house will be there okay cement ka separate place rahega fine aggregate coarse aggregate ya fir tiles rahega ya fir different things related with the construction doors agar fixing of doors rehte hai teak wood doors rehte hai uska frames ka agar uh, space hai to wahan pe ek uh, separate uh, jagah rahegi different uh, plywoods rahegi ya fir different shutting materials ek space mein uh, dump rahega so all this uh, will be uh, separate space will be provided for every material okay so in order to uh, avoid the unnecessary movements this increase efficiency overall isme kya hoga ki this will increase the efficiency theek hai na construction work jo tha wo fast hoga aur efficiency increase hogi aur wastage of time will not be there theek hai na wastage of labels will uh, not be there wastage of uh, time will not be there uh, by proper planning theek hai so site layout planning so site layout planning is again very very important theek hai so is that clear everyone what is site layout planning yes yes sir yes, yes sir, sir. so you are you uh, are being a civil engineers you have to draw a site layout planning mein ye sare jo cheeze maine abhi bataya hu uh, there are separate space for uh, bending wires separate space for labor camp or toilets or uh, washing areas or entry exit ye sare jo cheeze hain to uh, being a site engineers agar uh, kisi ko agar newly site ka appoint, appoint ho raha hai ki abhi construction start hona hai matlab abhi plain land hai aur we have to uh, uh, execute we have to construct a building तो कोई भी एक मल्टी स्टोरेड बिल्डिंग कंस्ट्रक्ट करना है तो यू हैव टू फर्स्ट डिसाइड द स्पेस फॉर ऑल दिस मटेरियल्स है ना कौन से कहां से कौन सा मटेरियल फिजिबल रहेगा और कौन सा मटेरियल में सपोज मैं को अगर आरएमसी प्लांट वहां पे डालना है छोटा सा आरएमसी प्लांट मतलब छोटा सा छोटा क्यूबिक मीटर्स का आरएमसी प्लांट डालना है तो अब वो उसका भी स्पेस डिसाइड करो सो दैट अगर उसका कंक्रीट अगर मिक्स होता है और रेडी मिक्स कंक्रीट वहां पे अगर तैयार होता है तो within uh, within a feasible area matlab movable areas mein it will be available in, on the site theek hai to ye sare cheeze mein being a civil engineers ye sab point out hona hai ek chhota sa ek scale mein drawing banana hai aapka layout ka jisme outlines rahega pura site ki apne jo acres mein apni jo site rahegi pura site ka layout ka acres mein puri line mark hogi uska entry exit mark hoga aur kaun se space mein kaun se kaun se availability of uh, cheeze rahegi उसका एक पर्टिकुलर मतलब लोकेशंस रहेगा साइट ऑफिस कहाँ पे रहेगा बार वेंडिंग का लेबर हाउस और टॉयलेट्स और ये सारी जो चीज़ें हैं वो कहाँ कहाँ रहेगी तो हियर इन नेक्स्ट दैट इज स्लाइड्स वी विल सी द प्लानिंग आल्सो ठीक है ना देर इज अ ड्राइंग इन विच ऑल दिस थिंग्स विल बी मैंशन factors affecting job site layout what are the different factors affecting uh, job or uh, site layout mein uh, kya kya factors affecting karte hain nature of the project nature of project will affect the layout jaisa project rahega whether it is a multi storied project or a small scale project a large scale project se kaun sa kaisa nature of project hai to this will affect the site layout uske hisab se site layout ka planning rahega theek hai so nature of effect will uh, uh, decide the site layout okay, site layout is pe dependent rahega nature of project pe theek hai so nature of project will affect the layout for multi storied building and for highway project layout will be different एक कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग है उसके लिए लेआउट साइट लेआउट डिफरेंट रहेगा और एक हाईवे अगर कंस्ट्रक्ट होता है तो उसके लिए साइट लेआउट क्या डिफरेंट रहेगा क्योंकि कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ हाईवे क्या होता है कि मूविंग है आज एक आधा किलोमीटर में कंस्ट्रक्शन हो रहा है अब ए, एक दिन के बाद दो दिन के बाद रोड कंस्ट्रक्शन आगे आगे जा रहा है ठीक है तो अब साइट लेआउट क्या रहेगा साइट ऑफिस जो रहेंगे या फिर साइट से रिलेटेड जो चीजें रहेगी वो आगे आगे बढ़ रही है आपकी ठीक है ना तो यर मतलब the site layout will be different for the multi storied building and will be different for the highway this that means it will be different for the uh, depending upon the nature of the project theek hai na jaisa kaam hoga waisa uske hisab se site layout will be prepared by the uh, engineer okay construction methods okay again site layout will be different for the different construction methods whether it is cast in situ or uh, whether it is uh, it has been uh, layout will be different and for construction using precast elements okay 
Casting situ is nothing but we are uh, uh, ready mix concrete or we are using the concrete which has been mixed on site. Yeah, cement is on site available, cement sand aggregates. And on site, all the material is material matlab, mixing. Ho hai. And we are using that uh, material, we are using that concrete for the construction of work. Yeah, the cast in situ will be uh, the different uh, construction method. And next method is precast. Precast is uh, the, uh, the various units which has been prepared. There's a column, a beam, a slab, a, or different units. Say. So nowadays it has been manufactured in the factories also. Okay, uh, factories may or sheds may or different uh, matlab, uh, 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 factories may, which are companies may, precast ke elements uh, that has been uh, constructed, uh, that has been uh, prepared, and it has been transported to the vehicles and it, it has been used in the site. Okay, so a alag method. Hai, okay? So precast bhi ho sakta hai aur uh, cast in situ hota hai jiske wajah se site layout will be different. Okay? Availabilities of resources, again what are the different uh, resources which has been available on sites. Okay? So availabilities of resources for local labors, provision for the temporary housing, washing and other facilities will not be provided. But for outsiders labors, yes, yes, the logical way hai. If you have labels local, hai, to all these facilities will not be required. But if uh, we are uh, hiring a labels from the outside, yeah, just, uh, apne no, nowadays outside the Maharashtra state, we are uh, hiring the labels. So, okay, the different states' ke labels are there. If you have labels, we, uh, we should provide uh, 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 a housing facility, will, will be provided, washing areas and temporary housing will be provided. All the uh, different uh, temporary roads will be also connect, interconnection roads will be provided for the. Uh, housing, uh, different the uh, house of Manange, so say uh, connected roads, temporary roads will also be provided. Uh, water supply lines or communications will also be provided. So, yes, depending upon the availabilities of the resources. Medical facilities is also important uh, for a very big and complex projects. Field medical facilities is desirable. Yes, when the project cost is more or uh, abhi no, nowadays uh, this is a mandatory uh, that has been a requirement uh, that is medical facilities. In this case, mein, there is, uh, it has been a mandatory uh, different uh, clauses may or different norms may, government can, norms may be. So medical facilities will be provided. If there is a big project or uh, massive structures, hai, or multi student buildings hai, or construction of road, hai, so, uh, uh, there is large scale projects, so medical facilities will also be uh, desirable. Okay? Site engineer's office ye toh, hai, should be located in front of uh, in noise free areas for better coordinations. It should be in a noise free areas for uh, better coordinations. Okay? Uh, provision of the temporary roads, yes, I have told you different interconnection roads will be provided, just like there is a train line or a highway. Hai, or link road, hai, highway road, hai. So, highway road is the site hai, normally under the site, 2 km, 5 km, 10 km. So, now we have to provide the roads. 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 We Steel lana hai, ya phir, uh, different fine aggregates for of course aggregate with the help of JCB or uh, with the help of tractor. Agar wahan se lana hai, to, uh, again temporary roads will be required. The so, provision of the temporary roads will be there. Uh, internal roads for the transportation of necessary plants, machineries, equipments, and external roads to provide access. Yes, Ye, uh, agar external roads it is also to be provided and internal uh, roads to be provided. Okay? Better communication skills. Again, lastly, other facilities, uh, necessary provisions of services. Nowadays, uh, power supply line is a very, very important. Uh, that is been power supply. So there should be a proper power supply. It should be there. Telephonic uh, communications will be there. Uh, telephone lines uh, should be there. In previous uh, days, uh, there were uh, telephone, uh, telephonic connections were there. Nowadays, uh, the, we are using mobiles. So uh, uh, in, in previous years, there was a uh, telephonic uh, connections will be there, uh, was used. Uh, in our site, uh, the telephonic connections, repair and maintenance yard should be provided. Yes, uh, repair and maintenance uh, yards. Uh, it has been a separate space should be fixed for maintenance of steel uh, maintenance of any uh, structures. May agar koi maintenance hai, to different equipments agar koi steel ke members hai, ya fir steel ka jaise welding ora hai, ya fir steel ka uh, fabrications hai, to repair and maintenance will be there in a separate area. Okay? 
So these all other facilities will also be included in this. What are the advantages of good so, uh, job or site layout? So smooth and economical. Uh, that is the work of project, working of project. Yes, uh, this proper agar planning hoga, proper job uh, site layout or proper job layout hoga. So what are the uh, things? So the construction work will be in economical work, uh, working of project site. Yeah, smooth bhi hoga or economical bhi hoga. Okay? Because every material, every things is uh, available in the uh, premises. It is available within the permissible limit. So this will uh, avoid the uh, the uh, that means smooth construction work hoga and economical working of project hoga. Next is reduces completion time of project. Jo kam apne matlab six months or years mein ora tha, we can reduce up to months because everything which we are having in stock uh, and we, it is uh, within the permissible uh, that is uh, feasible areas. Okay. So, this way, this completion period will be reduced. This uh, completion period will be re reduced. Completion time will be reduced. Provide more safety while working. Yes, uh, this will reduce the safety because uh, transportation or I have a other transportation or I transportation of labors or cities. So, this will uh, result in risk. You can risk over so this uh, proper planning construction work or this will reduce the safety. Uh, the matlab provides more safety while working. Uh, material wastage deterioration is reduced. Again, material wastage, agar transportation mein ya fir, uh, isme material wastage hota hai, this will again will be uh, reduced uh, the, with the help of the proper planning. Material transactions uh, becomes easy, speedy, and economical. Uh, transactions of material uh, will be more easy and more economical. Increases output from labors and machineries. Yes, more output will be taken care because labors ke liye labor camps hai, or all the facilities agar provide ho rahi site pe, so uh, the remaining uh, that is the time will be spent by, by the labors for the construction of work. So here this will increase the output of the labors. This will increase the output of the machineries. Essentials of site layout, we definitions maybe but we will draw the site layout plan draw in the next slide maybe. So what are the essentials? What are essentials? Yes, this plot and work boundary will be the first time. If you have a boundary, it will be boundary of working. Proposed outline plan of construction uh, adjoining properties and uh, properties and uh, ownership Azu Bazu make on properties a road camp or uh, adjoining properties kya hai ek rough idea regarding the uh, plots Azu Bazu me kya hai to ownership ke baare mein to ek rough idea hai external roads approaching site wo ek important hai ki apne matlab agar koi highway ja raha hai to usse connection apna site kitne duri pe kya connection road hai to external road approaching to site entry and exit Place for equipment, place for materials, uh, place for parking, loading, unloading of metals. Metals ka jo uh, loading, unloading of metals that is fine aggregate, coarse aggregate, ya fir, uh, different materials ka parking areas, loading, unloading of materials uh, Place for preparing concrete, mortars, bending. Ye ek separate space rega. Concrete agar prepare karna, uske liye separate space, mortar prepare karna hai. Uh, bending hoga, uh, steel ka, per bending schedule ka. So, uh, separate space will be there, toilets, uh, labor camps, ke liye, labor houses, ke liye, toilets will be there, and place for uh, refuse. That means unwanted materials. So, again, there will be a separate space. If there is steel agar waste, hota hai, uh, matlab, cutting steel, uh, steel agar, uh, apne side, then a separate space will be there. Wahan pe jitna steel is there, you can dump it there. So, place for uh, refuse. You can, uh, refuse of uh, cement ke agar bags, agar, jo empty bags, you can put it in there, or steel is wasted. Hota hai, wo, so there will be a separate space for refuse. So this is nothing but the site layout planning. जो आपने आज की study जो किए थे, उसका सारा का जो that is the result for that is nothing but the site layout planning. तो ये सब figure दिख रहा है सबको? हाँ sir. हाँ. Yes sir. ये जो मैंने अभी तक जितना बोला हूँ, ये सारा जो चीजें हैं, वो this this it has been included in this one plan. ठीक है ना? ये जो plan दिख रहा है आपके पास. Here, the plan may be all these included here. So, all this will be included. So, I have told you that all these things will be included in your own plan. Now, first of all, I have told you that we will provide an outer line, which will be outer line in our acres. So, this will be outer line. 
तो यहाँ पे सबसे पहले बाहर में देखो 90 मीटर्स के सबसे ऊपर में देखो 90 मीटर्स लिखा है नाइन जीरो नाइनटी सबसे ऊपर में मेरा कर्सर दिख रहा हूँ आपको तो 90 मीटर्स में हॉर्जोंटल लाइन प्रोवाइड हो रहा है वहाँ पे ऊपर में लिखा है देखो एरो करके एग्जिस्टिंग बाउंड्री वॉल ठीक है तो अब अपने देर विल बी अब टेम्पररी बाउंड्री वॉल बोलो या फिर परमानेंट बोलो या फिर बारबेट वायर का फेंसिंग बोलो जो भी करना है आपको एक बाउंड्री डिसाइड कर लो कि यहाँ से अपनी प्लॉट की बाउंड्री हो रही है ठीक है यहाँ पे कंस्ट्रक्शन नहीं करना आपको यहाँ पे प्लॉट बाउंड्री है अपनी बाहर की ये यूजुअली दिस साइट लेआउट और साइट जॉब लेआउट विल बी यूज फॉर मल्टी स्टूडिड कंस्ट्रक्शन वर्क ठीक है ना मल्टी स्टूडिड बिल्डिंग का जो कंस्ट्रक्शन होगा या फिर हैवी स्ट्रक्चर्स जो रह गए जिसका काम सालों चलता है ऐसा बहुत बहुत बड़ा प्रोजेक्ट है जिसमें वाटर टैंक भी है रोड्स भी है और वेरियस मतलब मतलब फैसिलिटीज भी है टाउनशिप जैसा अगर कोई प्रिपेयर होता है तो उसके लिए नॉर्मली दिस प्लानिंग विल बी टेकन किया ठीक है 90 मीटर्स का हो यहाँ पे एक हॉर्जोंटल लाइन है और फिर यहाँ पे देखो यहाँ पे भी एक वर्टिकल लाइन है जो उसकी विथ कितना है 60 मीटर्स हॉर्जोंटल है लेंथ वाइज इज 90 मीटर्स विथ वाइज इज 60 मीटर्स और ये चारों तरफ से इसने क्या किया इसको घेर लिया ठीक है अब सामने से देखो सामने में कैसा है यहाँ पे रोड कनेक्टेड है एक तो फ्रंट रोड है और एक तो बैक रोड है सिक्सटी मीटर्स के जो फेसिंग है वहाँ पे दो रोड है फ्रंट साइड एंड राइट साइड तो अब ये फ्रंट रोड है अपने पास जो कनेक्टेड है अपने पास हाईवे से ठीक है ना जो भी हाईवे है आ, या फिर आ, जो फोर लेन टू लेन जो भी रोड होगा वो मेन रोड से कनेक्टेड है अब यहाँ से मेन रोड से कनेक्टेड इसलिए यहाँ पे मैंने दिया यहाँ पे एंट्रेंस ठीक है बिकॉज इट इज कनेक्टेड विद मेन रोड यहाँ पे मेन रोड से कनेक्टेड था तो देर फोर देर विल बी सम एंट्रेंस अब जैसा एंट्रेंस स्टार्ट होगा तो वहाँ पे एक सिक्योरिटी आ जाएगा ठीक है ना सिक्योरिटी फॉर uh, मतलब चेक पोस्ट जैसा रहेगा सिक्योरिटी रहेगा कि अगर कोई भी आता है ट्रक आता है फाइन एग्रीट का तो फर्स्ट वो बताएगा कि अपने साइड का नहीं है उसका बिलिंग से और या फिर जो भी बुक रहेगा यहाँ पे ऑल द थिंग्स रिलेटेड विद द चेकिंग जो रहेगा है ना फाइन एग्रीगेट कोर्स एग्रीगेट स्टील या फिर सीमेंट जो भी रहेगा है ना जो भी पर्टिकुलर जो साइट में इंटर हो रहा है उसका चेकिंग के लिए देर विल बी सिक्योरिटी है ना सिक्योरिटी ऑफिस रहेगा अब उसी से थोड़ा सा एक मार्जिन छोड़ के यहाँ पे साइट ऑफिस आ जाएगा ठीक है जो भी काम आता है तो सबसे पहले क्या होगा अगर मेरा साइट ऑफिस सपोज मैंने यहाँ पे ना रखे और लास्ट में रखा तो क्या होगा कोई भी आएगा एंट्रेंस में तो अब कहाँ है साइड ऑफिस तो पूरा साइड कवर हो के लास्ट में जा रहा है तो उसका कैसा होगा कि और उसका मतलब इतना टाइम भी वेस्ट हो होगा और उसके फिर पेट्रोल और फिर सारी चीज़ें फिर कन्वीनियंस में तो इससे कनेक्टेड क्या होगा जैसा एंट्रेंस होगा वहाँ पे सिक्योरिटी ऑफिस और उसी के बाद ही में क्या रहेगा देर विल बी ट्वेंटी मीटर्स साइड ऑफिस ठीक है तो ट्वेंटी मीटर्स बाई एट मीटर एट मीटर इसकी विट है सबकी एट मीटर विट है तो ये एक जस्ट एक मतलब एक गाइडलाइन बताया है इट मे बी इंक्रीज और डिक्रीज अगर छोटा रखना तो छोटा भी रख सकते हैं टेन मीटर्स बाय फाइव मीटर्स भी रख सकते हैं बट एक जनरल प्रोविजन के लिए देर इज ट्वेंटी बाय टेन मीटर्स ठीक है ट्वेंटी मीटर्स इसकी विथ लेंथ है और टेन एट मीटर्स इसकी विथ है ठीक है तो उसी से कनेक्टेड क्या होगा एंट्रेंस है देर विल बी अ साइट ऑफिस ठीक है अब यहाँ से स्टोर स्टार्ट हो रहा है ठीक है अब यहाँ पे जैसे रिनफोर्सिंग स्टील का जैसे गाड़ी आएगी और यहाँ से देखो कनेक्शन ऑफ रोड है अब ये रोड कैसा होगा अगर बाहर जाना है तो उसको भी कनेक्शन ऑफ रोड हो गया साइड पे जाना है तो ये भी कनेक्शन ऑफ रोड हो गया तो मतलब अपना जो कंस्ट्रक्शन एरिया है उसके चारों बाजू से रोड है बिल्डिंग एरिया देखो हैच पोर्शन में बीच में बिल्डिंग एरिया एक्चुअल कंस्ट्रक्शन मेरा कितना हो रहा है फिफ्टी बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर्स पे मतलब एक्चुअल कंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ बिल्डिंग कितने एरिया में हो रही है बिल्डिंग अंडर कंस्ट्रक्शन ये जो हैच पोर्शन है इट इज फिफ्टी बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव मीटर्स बट उससे कनेक्टेड मेरे को क्या क्या काम करना है ये सारी चीज़ें कनेक्टेड है ये आजू बाजू में जितने कनेक्टेड है वो सारे कनेक्टेड है बाय दिस 15 बाय 50 बाय 25 मीटर्स अब उससे नज़दीक में क्या हो गया देखो स्टील बाइंडिंग स्टील रेनफोर्समेंट हो गया क्योंकि स्टील रेनफोर्समेंट वही नज़दीक में है और यहाँ पे भी नज़दीक में गेट के पास ही स्टील रेनफोर्समेंट का मतलब गोडाउन बोलो या फिर शेड बोलो है ना टेम्पररी शेड है रस्टिंग ऑफ स्टील नहीं होना है तो टेम्पररी शेड रहेगा या फिर ऐसी कोई कवरेज रहेगा और यहाँ पे भी स्टील का मतलब देर इज स्टोरेज ऑफ स्टील ठीक है और ये साइड के चारों बाजू से कनेक्शन ऑफ रोड अब यहाँ से साइड कंस्ट्रक्शन हो रहा है उसी से नजदीक में मिक्सर्स ठीक है ना तो यहाँ पे अगर आर प्लांट हो रहा है या फिर मिक्सर है तो नॉर्मली मिक्सर्स आर यूज दीज आर दू मिक्सर्स ठीक है ना कनेक्शन ऑफ विद द साइट अब यहाँ से नीचे से चलो आप नीचे से चलेंगे तो क्या होगा साइट ऑफिस के बाजू में क्या है स्टोर स्टोर ऑफ सीमेंट एंड अदर वैल्यूएबल आइटम्स जो भी वैल्यूएबल जो है मतलब जिसको पानी से बचाना है और मतलब वेदरिंग से और ह्यूमिडिटी से और
अगेन यहाँ पे इंटर कनेक्शन ऑफ रोड है अब यहाँ पे देखो यहाँ पे सबसे आखिरी में टोल फिर फिर यहाँ पे आ जाओ एंट्रेंस के बाजू में ठीक है यहाँ पे एंट्रेंस था यहाँ पे एग्जिट है तो एग्रीगेट स्टोरेज हो जाएगा लेबर हाउसिंग हो जाएगा ब्रिक्स एंड टाइल्स हो जाएगा वॉशिंग एरियाज एंड टॉयलेट ठीक है ना टॉयलेट कहाँ पे एकदम लास्ट में है ठीक है तो यो दिस ऑल दिस अरेंजमेंट विल बी टेकन केयर डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द अवेलेबिलिटी ठीक है ना तो ये जो अवेलेबिलिटी है साइट इंजीनियर से मतलब जो जो काम जरूरी है तो दिस मटेरियल्स विल बी अवेलेबल ऑन साइट जैसे मेरे को अगर सीमेंट होना है तो ये बिल्डिंग एरिया है कंस्ट्रक्शन एरिया सिर्फ एक रोड बीच में है और यहाँ पे सीमेंट स्टोरेज है मेरे पास तो अगर मेरे पास सीमेंट कभी भी खत्म होता है तो विद इन फाइव मिनट्स टेन मिनट्स दस सीमेंट विल भी अवेलेबल एग्रीगेट्स एकदम नजदीक में अवेलेबल है ब्रिक्स होना है मेरे को कंस्ट्रक्शन के लिए ये अवेलेबल नजदीक में है ठीक है और यहाँ से अगर ब्रिक्स एंड टाइल्स होना है वो भी अवेलेबल है लेबर कैंप्स अगर मतलब मतलब लंच एरियाज में अगर लेबर जाती है तो वापस फिर कंस्ट्रक्शन एरियाज में इट विल भी अवेलेबल एग्रीगेट होना है अगेन इट विल भी अवेलेबल स्टील तो दिस इट हैज बीन अ रफ चार्ट और इट हैज बीन अ रफ लेआउट इट हैज बीन प्रिपेयर फॉर द साइट लेआउट और जॉब लेआउट वाइल कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द बिल्डिंग ठीक है तो इज दैट क्लियर एवरीवन यस सर यस सर यस सर यस सर तो आज के लेक्चर्स में अपन ने मतलब एक अलग कंसेप्ट पढ़े हैं जिसमें दिस इम्पोर्टेंट इज साइट या आउट प्लानिंग ठीक है ना तो यर अगर अगर एग्जाम्स में अगर होता है ऑफलाइन में तो यर दिस साइट या आउट प्लानिंग इज अ कंपलसरी क्वेश्चन ऑफ एट टू टेन मार्क्स ठीक है ना तो यू हैव टू ड्रॉ दिस फिगर ये एक एक मतलब एक नॉर्मल फिगर ड्रॉ करना है जिसमें वीरियस स्पेसिस आर फिक्स ठीक है तो आप मतलब स्पेसेस को थोड़ा बहुत कर सकते हैं चेंजेस बट ये जो स्पेसेस बताए जैसे वॉशिंग एरियाज बोलो ब्रिक्स है टाइलिंग्स है सीमेंट्स है ये मतलब एक फिजिबल एरियाज है कंस्ट्रक्शन एरिया से कनेक्टेड है फिजिबल है तो ऐसे मैनर में यू हैव टू ड्रॉ और साइड लेआउट प्लानिंग ठीक है ना साइड लेआउट प्लानिंग ठीक है तो ये साइड लेआउट प्लानिंग आपको ड्रॉ करना है और उसका डिस्क्रिप्टिव वे में जो अपन ने कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स लेके और उसके बेनिफिट्स लिखे एडवांटेजेस लिखे और उसका मतलब पर्पज लिखे ये सारी जो चीज़ें हैं वो एक डिस्क्रिप्टिव वे में लिखना है और यू हैव ड्रॉ दिस फिगर ठीक है ना जो फिगर दिख रहा है लास्ट स्लाइड में ट्वेल्थ नंबर स्लाइड में जो लास्ट स्लाइड में दिख रहा है तो यू हैव ड्रॉ दिस फिगर ठीक है तो यर वी विल एंड दिस टूडेज लेक्चर्स एज इट इज इलेवन तो वी विल एंड दिस टूडेज